The beauty of a linear walk is that you cover a greater diversity of ground by not having to return to the same place, and here public transport can help enormously. A favourite area, and I have previously covered the Arran Valley between Amberley and Arundel on at least two occasions, can easily be reached by train from London, Victoria, as well as Croydon, Crawley and Horsham, even Gatwick Airport. The two stations that matter are Amberley and Arundel, located at opposite poles of the Arran Valley as it passes through the South Downs. There is an abundance of riches that include Amberley Village and Museum, not to mention Arundel Castle. On my YouTube channel I have already described a walk from Amberley to Parham House, but I am concentrating on the River Valley, which, with the railway, are the only continuous links through the Vale. There is no through road. Usually I alight from the train at Amberley and make for the Riverside Tea Rooms for the full Monty to sustain me. It has a wonderful vista over the river, which is our companion for most of the time. You can arrive by car, but parking is limited. But if you plan to return by train, then try the station. If you want a level walk, then follow the river as it meanders towards Arundel. It is much longer, and as this section of the river is tidal, the path can get muddy and occasionally floods. There are shortcuts, including over the downs, which I have covered in one of my other programs. Another shortcut is to follow Stoke Road from Houghton Bridge to North Stoke, followed by a path to South Stoke where the river can be rejoined. There is another shortcut from South Stoke. It is on a country lane that passes the Black Rabbit pub, affording the option to visit the Arundel Wildlife Centre. But by keeping to the river, we get the big approach, a classic view of Arundel, a wonderful scene dominated by its castle. The town rises in tears from the riverbank of the Arun, so once you leave the river, it is uphill all the way. Rounding a bend in the river, the Roman Catholic Cathedral comes into view, a suitable focal point for a good view of the town. Upon reaching Town Bridge, the entrance to the castle is just across the road, but for the cathedral, head up High Street and then turn left at the top. On the way, pop into St. Nicholas Church. It is unique because for worship, it is two churches inside one building. The nave is Church of England, but the choir facing the castle is Roman Catholic. They are separated by a locked door that is only opened on very special occasions. The images were taken over several visits, using of course the convenience of a train connection from South London. As usual, I kept my kit simple very often a zoom over the middle range. I don't consider the use of an extreme wide-angle lens in this type of landscape, as the South Downs do not quite have the same impact as a mountain. At Arundel, catch the train to Amberley or back to London. On the other hand, as the river is navigable, you well might be able to catch a boat but that takes longer. Even Shanks's pony could be quicker, unless you can row back when the tide is in your favour. <laughs>